How to create a local system user account as the system administrator. Prerequisites. You have logged in to the controller as the admin user. Configuration procedure. Configure user information. Select user groups. Select roles. Select managed objects. Configure an access policy. Function description. The system administrator can create multiple sub-accounts and assign different rights to each sub-account by role. Application scenarios. By default, the admin user has all rights. To ensure system security, the admin user can create multiple sub-accounts and assign different rights to each sub-account by role. Procedure. Step one, choose system, user management, user management from the main menu. Step two, click the users tab, click create and set user parameters on the create user page. Manually setting a password. Set password creation mode to manual. Then you can directly set a password when creating the account. Setting a password via email. Set password creation mode to email. After the account is created, the system sends a URL to the user's email box. The user can click on the URL to set a password. Step three, expand advanced settings and set maximum online sessions, account validity days, allowed logins, enable the user policy if no login within a period, and compulsory password renewal. After the configuration is complete, click Next. Step four, on the Select User Groups page, add the user to a specific user group and click Next. Note, if no user group is available, create a user group as prompted. Step five, on the Select Roles page, attach user roles to this user and click Next. Step six, on the Select Managed Object page, select the MSPs to be managed by the user and click Next. Step seven, on the Select Access Policies page, click Create in the Client IP Address Policies area. Configure the range of IP addresses that can use this account to log in to iMaster NCE Campus and click OK. If no IP address range is specified, all IP addresses are allowed to use this account to log in to iMaster NCE Campus. Step eight, click OK. Verifying the configuration. Log in to iMaster NCE Campus using the created user account and check whether the account has obtained the specified permissions.